nine in a row for Baltimore. They're 588 games into the season. It's incredible. Let's just say and look at the AL East overall. What's more surprising to us here? The Yankees with 61 wins or the Baltimore Orioles after 88 games being 44 and 44? It's by far the Baltimore Orioles. I thought this was yet another league or excuse me, another season in the American League where they were just going to be a punching bag here. We also laughed at, look at that stupid move to change and ruin your stadium. Maybe that was the catalyst to give this team confidence where, hey, we can actually pitch in Major League Baseball if we're not just giving up missiles in into the left field seats. It's amazing to see what they're doing. A nine-game win streak, and it's also coming up upon the all-star break. Let's just say they run this up to 10 games, 11, 12, or 13 games. This is one of those teams like, no, no all-star break. Let's play right through this thing. We're a young baseball team finally starting to win. And the jokes start to come out where it's like, yes, are they going to be buyers at the deadline? Well, I mean, if you're in a wild card hunt here, you can't just leave the team on edge. Who would have thought, like, the Baltimore Orioles are one of those teams where you would be selling pieces off, like, ah, Cedric Mullins will be good for somebody else, or, you know, Trey Mancini, he'd be a nice piece for a team that's looking to contend. Maybe you're going to look to contend a lot sooner than later in Baltimore.